Why? Yeah, Curtis, we are here at Fountain Square where that rally started just about an hour ago, but things are quiet as you might notice because those protesters have now started marching through the streets of Cincinnati. Now the group is calling for a third trial for former UC Comp Ray Tenzing for the murder of Sam DeVos two years ago during a traffic stop. Now that today's rally was organized by the Countdown to Conviction Coalition and includes several groups, including Black Lives Matter Cincinnati. Their message remains focused on justice. Many here were angered. Pro uh, Dieters decided not to pr prosecute Tenzing a third time here in Hamilton County. Speakers this afternoon are demanding a third trial and a federal investigation into the first two trials. They allowed people who would never convict a police officer onto the jury. That means basically we have a jury system that does not work, is what Prosecutor Dieter is suggesting, is that there's no such thing as justice in Hamilton County if you're assaulted or killed by a police officer. That is extremely troubling to me. It should be extremely troubling to everyone. Now, Dieter's plans to be in court on Monday to formally drop those charges against Ray Tenzing. The U.S. attorneys are now looking into whether or not Tenzing could face any charges on the federal level. And as we were here throughout this rally here at Fountain Square, we did notice several Cincinnati police officers standing by just making sure everything remains safe. Reporting live at Fountain Square, Amanda Kelly, WLWT. News 5. All right, thanks a lot, Amanda. Folks had to really deal with the heat and humidity today to have their voices heard, and the city wanted to give them some space. Now, WLWT News 5's Richard Childs is live with city leaders' preparation. Leader? Hey, Curtis, this is the active march. In fact, just made its way down from Fountain Square all the way down Walnut Street. You see these marchers and demonstrators making their way now towards the banks. This has been about a 15-minute march from them. Of course, as Amanda talked about, the rally in Fountain Square got started at 6 o'clock uh, for this march. They've been there again for probably about 45 minutes, but, of course, gathering and galvanizing support. One of the things that has been interesting about this crowd is that it is a diverse crowd, a coalition of a variety of community organizations, Black Lives Matter, along with the Amos Project and folks from Black Cincinnati, the Black Agenda as well, participating, taking their voice to the streets being heard. It is a march at the city of Cincinnati. We talked to Vice Mayor David Mann, said that he welcomes the opportunity for people to have their voices heard. There's something wrong given the way the events have unfolded in our community. And some way, somehow, we need to come together, black and white, and uh, in the future, not have uh, juries that are so divided along racial lines. Uh, we all have a lot of work to do. Now that message from the vice mayor echoing in this demonstration, it has been a peaceful march again in the rally that was held at Fountain Square, continuing on down across the central business district. Cincinnati police officers, you see Captain Russ Neville here along, of course, supporting people's right to express their opinions. It is one that has been galvanizing this community, making sure they are heard. Reporting live this afternoon, Richard Childs, WWT News 5.